Today you'll have to excuse the natural light coming in. I'm not going to play around with my camera and trying to adjust the lights and putting on the light, all of that. It's just natural bright light here in a bright sunny morning, which is great. And what I've got for you is the latest music from Louis Note Melodrama. A lot of people, well, a lot of people, a lot of his fans were leaving messages on various reactions I've done. And messages would come up, even older uh, reactions I've done, and said, please react to Louis Note and his new music, even though you've just recently reacted to one of his previous um, mu music. And I said, music videos. So I said, okay, okay, I'll look into it. And I'm really intrigued. Why? Because it's brand new music after a couple of years from Louis Note. I have to thank Alice Burkett from Belgium, who has wonderfully given me the lyrics for this video. Because I am in touch with the fans and I do speak and interact with them. And one of the things I've found is the translations of some of the lyrics aren't always 100% accurate. Even when I go researching and they're on translation programs and stuff like that, um, websites, I've been a bit hesitant using them because I'm thinking the English isn't great, the translation from this language to English. But I didn't need to worry because one of the fans said, look, and I'm going to read out what she says because I think we are all going to have a touch of the melodrama when we see the epic, epic music that we're about to hear. And I'm going to bring up the actual email that Alice sent with the translation of the lyrics. So if a person with the French language is translating for me, there ought to be no complaints from anybody. Just a few information, she said. Lyric did everything for this song. The lyrics, the melody, the choreography, the costume with the well-known Belgian creator, Nathan, and now he wants it to be filmed. The video clips were filmed in the Wallona Royal Opera House. I really think he deserves more success than he actually gets. He is a great artist in so many domains. The song really hit me directly in the heart. I shed some tears and, and whilst listening to it for the first time. So no more talking, here's the lyrics. So those lyrics are up there and the vast majority of songs on Louis Notet's first two albums were in English. But as we're going to hear, but at the end of the Ciliomania was the poignant and touching six minute French song, Mr. M.E. And I have reacted to that. A phenomenal response I got. Thank you very much. And all the wonderful comments. This seems to have been our first sign of the Belgian star musical evolution now. As Louis is returning to French for the start of a new area in today's title song called Melodrame, and that is Melodrama in English. It's a passionate orchestral ballad, but the inclusion of a drum machine beats in the second and third courses also keeps out modern element to the production and adds an extra drive, it says in my research, to the song. In the lyrics, the Eurovision 2015 star sings overrated society when the ego puts you on stage, revealing the reverse without difficulty, when no man no longer seeks to please himself. Intriguing, no? Not just with your heart, it goes down to resonates with your soul, as we're going to listen to, and his octave range is absolutely incredible. So for the fourth time, Alice, I'll read out your lyrics and translate the best I can. You all know on my channel, I give you my interpretation, which might not be what social media says or other people say this is what it's about. Even though I've read out what I've read out, I will give you an outside perspective once we've heard melodrama. Nous tous les erreurs, nous nous plaisons dans nos malheurs. 
Le monde entier s'en plaint, mais pourtant comme moi tu fais rien Pardonne ma question du coup, sais-tu pourquoi tu penses tes genoux Si encore sans cesse toujours pour dire t'attends tranquille ton tour La même, je suis le premier, c'est vrai j'aime plat, et le parfait Mais qu'est-ce que quelques larmes pour l'attention, mon mélodrame Comme d'hab l'extrapolé, pourquoi pas même me sublimer Alcool, disait drogué, le soir t'abuses, t'es mon jouet La vie de l'homme c'est tout, le rien c'est jamais assez fou Il blesse, il est tabou, lâchement te vend, s'il prend des coups L'humain veut plus penser, tu sais, la frousse d'être critiqué Soumis, t'aimes trop te taire Mais si tu crois le contraire, je sais t'es Je crains même d'un peu rire Loin de moi l'idée de te nuire J'ai jamais voulu te faire souffrir Mais l'angoisse faut l'avouer Doser par soi même y penser Ma tout comme toi forcé de falser Bêtement ou pas le masquer Crois-moi retiens mes mots Promis mon conseil c'est pas faux Le bonheur sera l'audace Qu'aura ton cœur si tu rêvasses Pour un jour bannir l'orgueil Peu m'importe que le monde le veuille Un jour se satisfaire Faut jamais vouloir mieux faire Place pour les enfants, les jobs, les testaments, repart en vol, toi Peter Pan. Plus de place pour la magie dans ce monde où l'homme a tout dit. J'espère souvent mon lit, heureusement que rêver c'est permis. Alors je m'adresse à toi, le gardien du pays. Dis-moi si ça te dit qu'on vienne te voir une fois l'ami. Ce sera pas comme sur terre, je polluerai plus ton air. Ce sera plus comme des millénaires, promis plus de polémique de guerre. Je te refile pas l'enfer, je veux juste une nouvelle ère. Luik Note is one of those people I'll constantly feature because as soon as I heard his voice, I fell in love with the voice and said the world needs more of him and what his song says. So we're back to Alice Bacart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Merci beaucoup. And we will go into the English translation she has carefully done for me. All of us wrong dreamers, we delight in our misfortunes. The whole world is complaining, but yet, like me, you do nothing. Pardon my question then. Do you know where you bandage your knees? And I'll tell you, that's a very strong statement at the end of that. Do you know where you bandage your knees? It's very symbolic when you think of it, of people falling to their knees. With just, or people, think of somebody praying a lot, or somebody who has an accident when they're playing football or any symbolic nature of a person falling to their knees. It happens a lot, but it, it it's very symbolic, to be honest, of emotions from within, of those falling to our knees with the pressure of 
the mental torture you get asking questions about love or somebody that you are interested in or something like that and here he says all of us wrong dreamers so we all dream we all want we all desire and then if those dreams are taken away and those our desire gets taken away and our world seems a darker place because he said we delight in our misfortunes the whole world is complaining but yet like me you do nothing so there are you know it's it's a situation he's created saying this is the situation I'm in there's millions of people around the world in the same situation it's too many people complain about it but pardon me when you fall on your feet on your knees do you know why you bandage them you bandage them to heal so it continues if still constantly always to say you quietly wait for your turn the same I'm the first it's true I like to plagiarize perfect but what are a few tears so here he says he questions people crying over it's almost like Lewick is getting a very hard shell put around him and when it comes to love it's very tough to knock and, and try and get in to hear his heart beats for himself he's been it's evidential in his previous lyrics and even the cover songs he chooses that Lewick has been severely hurt in the field of love and probably as he's rose in fame he's probably found more people wanting him because they want a piece of that fame than him so it's almost like disillusionment he's disillusioned sorry here you quietly wait for your turn like people are waiting for a piece of him because it's not it this isn't about love and the heart and a broken relationship this this straight away comes to me where but what are a few tears he questions why he's even cried over the situation concerning people getting to know him as him love all of it life everything and if he's felt frustrated he questions like what are a few tears to him it's normal it's like why are we complaining it's normal we because so many people complain we shouldn't complain we should just get on with our lives accept what comes our way it's almost like he's teaching us acceptance of the bad things that come our way learn from it that's what I'm getting here because he's questioning don't forget do you know why the bandage is on your knees and I'm going to summarize that at the end and then he says but what are a few tears here in the second verse we'll continue because he oh no because at the end of the second he says for the attention of my melodrama so melodrama to me is his melodrama summarizes this whole song it's about a reaction to a reaction to being people wanting him to be this kind of person that just reacts like everybody else to situations they cry they complain they get upset but and they want him to be a drama queen I'm sorry to use that word he's not a queen okay it's it's a phrase in my head like somebody who just acts out everything on a on a dramatic scale and he even says is that what you're waiting for for the attention of my melodrama as usual it continues as usual extrapolated why not even sublimated wow straight away I'm going to explain that as usual extrapolated that means everybody extra plate when you exhaust it for what it's worth why not even sublimate it so instead of wanting him to react wanting him to be dramatic when things go wrong or when if he's in love with somebody it breaks up and they're waiting for a reaction Lyric is saying I'm not that kind of guy I get on with things I literally move on 
my whole being, my whole self-awareness about myself is strong, that I don't become this dramatic person. Uh, uh, I say drama queen. Like, oh, oh my God, I can't believe this broke up. Ah. None of that will come from him. He said, because here he answers that question. Cowardly sells you if, if, because it's continued now. Cowardly sells you if he gets beaten. In other words, if you're beaten by life, if you're beaten by love, if you're beaten by harsh words, if you're beaten by external things outside you, if that gets you down, gets you down all the time, and you hide, and, and, and so you prefer to hide away from it, that's a cowardly way of, of facing up to life and challenges and what needs to make you a better person. He said, because it sells you, it's like selling your soul, you're, you're not really dealing with life. And then he says, because then you get beat, beaten in other ways, you get beat mentally, you get physically drained, you cowardly go hide in a corner when life becomes too tough. And he's just saying, stand up, move forward, empower yourself. Because when he continues, and it continues, humans don't want to think anymore. That is very true. When life hits you, hits you, hits you, everybody wants an answer as to why. Everybody wants an, an answer as to how can I get out of this. Everybody wants somebody to give them answers. But it's almost like they, they become robotic and, and they accept all the harshness. But they want, the easy way out is to get a, somebody like a friend or a relative or somebody to give them advice is to do it rather than learn from what's happening and do it yourself. Move with your feet, think with your brain. You have a heart for a reason. You're on this earth for a reason and move forward. Too many people are cowardly, as he mentions before. And humans don't want to think anymore. They want others to think about them. That's the point I'm making. And then he said the fear of being criticized, submissive like you stay quiet too much, even if you believe otherwise. How many times have we been criticized in the jobs that we work in for the personality that we have, for the way that we dress, for how we are as a person. Nobody has that right to criticize you as a person in any shape or form. And even at work, just because they wear a badge, manager, they're not managing you, your life, and they don't have no right, nobody to strip your dignity, your self-worth. But that happens to everybody on a daily basis. And what, he's, what he says here is we become fear of, of because well, it's like the osmosis effect. We believe what we're hearing and we ought to close our ears to it and just say, do you know what? From today, I'm not going to bother with that person. That's a simple solution to those kind of people. I'll cut them out of my life. I'm very reclusive. I'm a music reactor on YouTube, but I'm very reclusive in my life. I've cut out so many people for prejudging me and putting me down, putting me down. As my mother would say that all I could taste was the gravel on the ground. But here everybody is an answer. The only way in life is back up once you've tasted it. And I'm up. I'm here doing this. So the fear of being criticized, I don't fear, but it says here, submissive. You'd like to stay quiet too much. We all do. When people bang us into the ground, we remain quiet. There's almost like there's no fight in us. It's almost like we're cowardly, as said. It's almost like you abuse it. You abuse yourself by being quiet. And then the chorus, overrated society when the ego puts you on stage. That's why he's on stage in the opera house. It's the setting for these lyrics. It's the setting for expressionism. It's the setting for the drama of what these lyrics are about. Because show me the other side without pain. Where man no longer seeks to please himself. Abstract paradise. Don't lay low and even show me the mark without hate. Absolutely phenomenal, absolutely powerful lyrics because what he's saying is, show me, and really it's an introspective part here of the lyrics we have to look at because what Lyric is saying inside is this, show me the real you, stand up, breathe in, Put out the chest, learn to stand tall, look in the mirror and say, what have I become? 
What do I want to become in this relationship or, or, or at work or when you're being put down by people or when society gets at you? Don't be submissive. Don't be cowardly. What do you want, he says? Show me the marks. But he's asking you to, to show yourself the marks. Examine your conscience. Examine what's happened. Examine why it happened. And you will find a lot of the time you've allowed it. You have. I allow people to put me down, put me down, put me down, spit in me. But not anymore. I'm the one sitting here on YouTube with thousands of people around the world following me. I'm smiling because my love for music is resonating with people. It's a second chance, that's all. And the chorus, overrated society when the ego puts you on stage. Doesn't our egos always get in, in the way of love, moving on, building ourselves up, cutting out people in our lives? Our ego gets in the way. Because we say, well, I am what I am and I'm going to, I'm going to continue my life the way it is. But sometimes you need to change. You need to rest your ego and, and believe they're not going to get to me when you know they do. You need to cut off people, close the ears, look in the mirror, love yourself, love what you see and start showing those love through words. And where man no longer seeks to please himself, he says, abstract paradise, don't lay low and even don't show me the mark without hate where man boasts more of pleasing. So man always boasts of having sex and conquering, oh, me and him, me and her, or, you know, whatever the situation, I'm the man. And he gave in to my charms. You know that ego boost, eccentric thing? Because he goes out saying, oh yeah, oh yeah. And then at the end he says, oh, oh, oh. In other words, is it the complete cycle I'm on? continuous cycle for all the reasons I've mentioned if it is what he's saying is it has to come to an end and my final thing is it can only come to an end if you believe in yourself that it will so that's my translation I hope you enjoyed it take care for now